What's up guys? This is Brian with NRS. We're coming to you today from Lifetime, Texas, shooting with world champion header, Chad Masters. I'm Chad Masters, two-time world champion team roper, 13-time NFR qualifier. Everyone always asks me what my target is. Um, even though the target is the horns, and, and everyone has their own spot. Some people like to look at behind the head, some people like to look at the left horn, some people like to look at the right horn. Um, I think a target is a very good idea that way you're riding towards your target and you're headed moving forward towards your target because the cow's going to be moving. The one thing to keep in mind is to always keep your swing going around the target instead of at the target. Whatever your target might be, try to make sure your swing is open. You can still be swinging at your target as long as your rope's going in a circle around it. And then close it up around your target. Don't be, don't get so set on swinging at your target that you get your hand in front of your face or dead tunnel vision where you're headed right at your target. Ride towards your target, keep your horse moving forward towards your target, but try to keep your swing around your target. The number one problem I see ropers have would be on slow cows or if they get out too good and the cow's right there and they're not ready. First off, I would ask them, or maybe they need to ask yourself, is their horse reading the cow? Is their horse rating the steer? If your horse is rating the steer, then maybe your swing's too tight. Maybe you need to move your swing out to where you can cover the horns when you're this close. And covering the horns would be meaning to be able to rope from right to left across the horns versus throwing straight out. If uh, if your horse is pulling on you and charging, it's going to be hard to rope both horns at the same time when you're too close. So I personally would maybe start with fixing your horse first. Turn in a steer out in the arena, lead steering, rope your helomatic, stop it a few times. Um, put the cow back in the horse a little bit where you're getting the same consistent shot you would get on your dump. I would say just, just from the schools we've had and the, and the lessons, instead of holding your horse where you want him to be, let him mess up, let him pass the steer, stop him, teach him his spot. Quit trying to hold him in position all the time, because if you're trying to hold, it's hard to rope. You have to be able to turn your horse loose and go to his spot on his own where you can rope. Oh, I definitely try to rope the bigger horns every time. Um, for me, it keeps you true to your swing and true to your delivery instead of trying to snap it off of them or, you know, or you're trying to throw and grab your slack at the same time. You still got to watch it go on and rope through the horns a little bit. So I usually try to a bigger set that I can. Oh man, too short. Trying to get too snappy and what causes that in my head would be the fact that this is my top strand and the pinky is my bottom strand and I rotated and turned my index finger over too early. So wherever your index finger is, usually when you miss your rope tells you what your hand did. So I probably rotated my index finger over too early versus trying to get the tip going. Wait on it. One thing I do try to do is to, the best drill I have when I do have to go rope the dummy is to try to rope, keep walking to the spot to where I would handle the steer from. I try to keep moving to that spot and I'll mix it up from time to time on. If I was going to run in the hole, I'd keep moving to this spot or I will reach a coal. Keep 
moving to the spot. Try to keep my feet moving where I'm not using my feet to rope the dummy. I'm trying to rope off a certain feel that my feet give me and try to be able to rope on the way in. Hey, now that one, that one's got to stop, that loop. That's my number one miss. What, what causes that? I don't know. Uh, Jenny says that I uh, throw harder than I'm swinging. I've lived off that one for a while, but it ain't fixed this. And Squeezy says I gotta have angle in my loop. It's too straight. It's too level, and I'm throwing too straight out. He's trying to tell me to put more angle in it. So that would be angle, but get it coming back to me. For me, the loop I swing to catch would be, in my eyes, my tip underneath the right horn, tip over the left horn. It's over to the right, it turns over before the right horn. My tip comes under the right horn, over the left one, and I wait on my tip and I follow it around the horn. So it goes out there, I wait on it, I'll wait the left horn for my slip. Now, there's two ways to get to your catch loop for me is when I leave the box to swing above the horn, and as I get closer, lower it to where I have my catch loop. Or I can leave the box with my catch loop and ride till this lines up with the horns. Now, what I like, what I'm bad about, is whatever swing I pick up when I leave the box, it stays there. So I'm bad to not lower it when I get there. If I bring it up, that's where I leave it. So this loop catches from here, but the closer I get, if I leave it too high, it's too far away from my target. Now, if I plan on running in there and catching, and I leave with this low swing, and then my horse is too tight or the cow's running, this loop doesn't work from here to there. So, ideally, you would leave with your tip high, leading the steer, and then the closer you get, you would lower it down. 